Welcome to Crash Magic. In this video, we've got another card trick, and I really like this one. I'm going to start with a performance to show how this might look from the perspective of a spectator, and then immediately after, if you're interested in seeing how it works and learning it, I'll show you exactly how. If you like learning new card tricks, then subscribe to the channel and take a look back at all the videos I've previously published and watch out for all my new content releases. In a second, I'm going to have you select a card. We're then going to mix it into the rest of the cards, and the best bit is you are then going to attempt to find your own card. So let's begin, and if you could start by shuffling these cards as much as you like. And now if you could select any of these cards, an absolutely random choice. Take a look at it, and of course, make sure to remember this card. Okay, hopefully you've got that. We're now going to shuffle really well so it's hopelessly lost. Now, this of course makes finding it again very difficult, but not for me. Because, as I mentioned before, it's you that needs to find your card. I'm going to try and help a little by picking out a selection of cards that I think might contain your card. Uh, let's take these, maybe these ones here. Okay, just a few more, I think. There we go. Okay, now this is where your intuition needs to kick in. I want you to concentrate and from these cards, choose the card that you think might be your selected card. This, of course, is incredibly difficult, so I'm going to give you three chances. So three cards. Don't look at them just yet, but just pick the three you want and keep them face down. So, from a shuffled pack of cards, you selected just three cards. Wouldn't it be amazing if one of them was your card? Let's take a look. First card then. Three of hearts, was that your card? No? Okay, that's fine. What about eight of hearts? No? Okay, last chance. Hopefully, it was the Nine of Clubs. No, that wasn't it either. I felt sure you'd get it. Okay, let me have a go and see if I can fare any better and maybe find it. I'm just going to deal through the cards, maybe get a sense. Try and use my intuition, see if I can do any better. Somewhere near here, maybe. No, not that one. Ah, maybe this one. I have a feeling this might be your card. Let's take a look. Seven of spades. No, I didn't find it either. You know, even though all the cards were shuffled and you could have chosen any three cards at random, maybe what we actually need to do is use the value of these cards that you chose. We've got a three. Plus eight is eleven. Plus nine is twenty. There's still 20 cards down from the pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. This is the twentieth card. You shuffled the cards. You selected any card and you selected these three cards. Is there any possible way that you've been able to find your card? The Two of Hearts. So that was the card trick, and if you liked that one, please give the video a like. And if you want to know how it's done, and to learn it, then this is the tutorial. It's incredibly easy, and there's no difficult card slides or card handling needed. This does need to be a full pack of 52 cards, but as there's no setup required, the cards can be given to spectators to shuffle. You then have a spectator choose any card they like, and this is a totally fair and free choice. They need to remember their selected card, so in this case we've picked the seven of hearts. Now ultimately we need to get that selected card to the bottom of the pack. There's lots of ways you can do this, but I find the easiest way is to simply have the card returned and the rest of the pack put on top. 
and then do some sort of false shuffles to give the impression that the cards are being mixed, where actually you retain that card at the bottom. Again, you probably have your favourite ways to do this, but I would normally do some overhand shuffles, keeping a little pressure on the bottom card with these fingers, so that as you shuffle, the bottom card stays in place, like this. So again, a bit of pressure on the bottom card, and continue to overhand shuffle as normal. And at normal speed, that's very undetectable. So here we still have the selected seven of hearts on the bottom of the pack. Now, if there are any fellow magicians watching your performance, they might suspect that you're controlling the selected card in some way. But the next part of the trick then really throws them off the scent. You tell the spectator that it's them that's gonna find their card. So now you're going to pull out any random 13 cards. It doesn't matter which card you choose, just so long as you don't touch that selected card at the bottom of the pack. And you also don't want to make any mention that it's 13 cards that you're pulling out. Just casually pull out 13 cards, silently counting to yourself. And then you can ask any of the spectators to use their intuition to try and find the selected card by choosing any three of the cards that they think it might be. So let's just say they choose this one, this one, and this one. It's absolutely free choice, any three. And that, of course, leaves 10 cards on the table. We need to gather these 10 cards up, and they're going to go on the bottom of the pack. So we'll place the rest of the pack on top like this. Now, again, direct all attention back to the three chosen cards and build up the expectation that one of these cards is going to be the initially selected card and you can then reveal these cards one at a time and of course none of them will be the selected card but as you're revealing these cards silently add up the values in your head so in this case we had a queen a four and a seven so a queen equals 12 plus four equals 16 plus seven equals 23. now whatever that value is we need to take it from 39 so in this case, 39 minus 23 is 16. Now, we explain that as the spectator didn't manage to find the selected card, we're going to have a go by dealing cards until we think we've found that card. Again, without counting anything out loud, we're going to deal to that number we've just calculated in our head. So 39 minus the value of the three cards, 16 in this case. So we deal down, perhaps do a bit of acting, that maybe we get an impression of where their card is and when we get to the 16th card we'll set that to the side again as before the other cards go back on the bottom of the pack and now we reveal this card that we think is the selected card again of course it's not going to be and so once we've revealed it we then place it on the bottom of the pack as well so finally now, back to the three cards that the spectator chose. We can now say how unlucky the spectator was not to have found the chosen card, but that maybe they have managed to choose cards that will still be able to find the card based on its position. So we then add up the value of the cards. Now, of course, we've already done this earlier in the trick, but the spectator is unaware of this. So this time we do it out loud for the benefit of the spectator. Queen is 12 plus 4 equals 16, plus 7 equals 23. So now in this case, we deal down to the 23rd card from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And finally revealed the 23rd card is their card that they chose. So that is the card trick. If you like it, please give the video a like. If you've got any comments on what you think or how you might change it, let me know in the comments and see you soon.